Hey, I'm Joe Davidson, founder of Oklahoma Joe's. Today, we're gonna to be grilling up quail three different ways on the Firecraft Grill. Today, we're gonna to be grilling up quail three different ways. The star of the show is gonna be the bomb white quail. They're cleaned, ready to go. Then I've got flour, salt, black pepper, the eggs, the milk for the wash itself, some duck fat to spray on the birds, jalapenos, some brisket rub, barbecue sauce, and cream cheese to calm that jalapeno down just a bit. So the spatchcock quail. This is something that I've always loved to do. They cook up fast and it's no trouble whatsoever. So the first step to this obviously is remove the feathers, any bird shot that's in that, but then remove the center bone. To save a little time, I've done that already, but I've left the wings and the running gear on the bird itself. I'm gonna spray a little duck fat on it to help the brisket rub adhere to it. And then shake this on and just lightly coat it. Do the same thing on the back side. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. They're ready to go on the grill right now. This might be my second favorite type of quail right here. The quail that we're gonna stuff with jalapeno, cream cheese, and wrap with bacon. Now, jalapenos, obviously, they're not the hottest pepper in the world, but they'll still burn you. So always wear gloves when you're handling jalapenos. I cut the top of the jalapeno off. I'm gonna dice it down the center, remove the seeds. I'm gonna take that, cut it in half again, and that's gonna go in the center of that quail. The next step is to remove the running gear and the wings from your birds. And that's really easy to do. Just take your knife on a cutting board and cut it right against the side. Same thing on that side. Then the wings, the same thing. And this way, when you do this, you've got a completely boneless little piece of goodness there. And what's great about when you spatchcock these is then you've got this open cavity to literally stuff your jalapeno into. Look at that. And then slice off a little piece of your cream cheese, add it into there, up on top of that. And then this is ready to roll in. I pre-cooked this bacon about two thirds of the way through. That way it makes it easier to apply. So you roll one of them there and go ahead and apply two toothpicks from each angle. And once you've done that, repeat the step. That way the entire bird is wrapped with bacon. Well, someone asked me one time, what do you do with all your leftover bacon? And I said, I've never had any leftover bacon, so I don't know what to do with leftover bacon. All right, and that is it. That's ready to go on the grill, just like that. The third way we're gonna be cooking up the quail today is possibly my favorite. Everyone loves fried quail. The first thing we'll be doing is we'll crack a couple of eggs into the bowl. Then whip your eggs themselves. Now, add your milk. All right, so we've got the egg and milk mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and put some birds in that so they're soaking up some of that goodness of that milk and egg, and it's really gonna help adhere the flour to it. Then I've got my flour mixture right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt to it, and then my black pepper. Mix that in. You can use your hand or a whisk to do it, but just stir it to where you've got a good combination of salt, black pepper, and flour. And now we're ready to batter the quail. This is kind of a, a process right here. So I'm gonna be going from the bath itself of milk and egg into that, stir a little flour on top of that, and really get it well coated. And that's ready to drop into the hot oil on a grill, can you imagine that? This is like campfire cooking. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the Firecraft grill. It's so easy to do this. I love to use the charcoal chimney. They're big, they hold a lot of charcoal. And it's so simple that all you do is take a fire starter, put it on the charcoal grate, put that down, do it on both of these. And then we're gonna fill these baskets with charcoal. Just light your charcoal starters and they'll be ready to cook on in about 15 minutes. Okay, now these charcoal chimneys are ready to go. You wait till you just see the perfect ash over. That's gonna be where you see white on approximately 70% of the bricks and the uh, lump charcoal that's in there. Now, it is gonna be hot, so don't just grab your bare hands. You wanna put your leather gloves on and then take and grab the top handle, lift it up, grab that handle, and just dump the bad boy out right there. Same thing here, I'm gonna dump that out, dead center. Put that to the side. And now's the time to add some mesquite to it. So we're gonna put some beautiful smoke flavor on everything we're cooking. It's gonna take that about five minutes to be ready to really get going. The wonderful thing about a Firecraft unit is that I've got two different cooking levels. When I spin these around, I can bring this one over that's gonna have my frying oil in it. This one's the one we're gonna be grilling on. First thing I'm gonna do is add in my oil to the frying pan. And we're gonna be preheating this oil to approximately 350 degrees. So I'll be constantly monitoring this to see what temperature am I at. So let's let that oil heat up and we'll get to cooking the quail. Our grease is right up to temperature. I've been monitoring this. What I like to do is take these, and you're only gonna be able to fit about three of these into that, but look at this. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. The minute you drop the quail, you're gonna drop a little bit in temperature, and you can always roll this out. If it starts getting hot, I can always slide this out away from the fire and that gives you a cool zone and then a hot zone. So we're doing that. And simultaneously, I'm gonna go ahead and put my bacon wrap ones on and I'm putting them on the hot side as well. You can see the sear on those as well. Now I'll put the spatchcock, put them in there with the breast side up first. The bacon wrap, jalapeno stuffed quill. We're gonna to need to flip those approximately every three to five minutes, depending on the heat of the grill. And I've got the spatchcock open birds on this side. They cook the fastest, so they are on the higher grate. Now let's just let the grill do the work for us and we'll check these and flip them in just a little bit. Okay, now we flipped the bacon wrap ones. We've already flipped the spatchcock right here. These are getting to be that perfect golden brown. Look at that. I'm telling you, wow. <laughs> Those are gonna be good. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these again. Look how they're getting that perfect brown color. See how fast they're cooking? Quail are very delicate. You don't wanna overcook them. You wanna make sure and just get them to a nice internal temperature of approximately 145, 150, because they will do an after cook when you pull them off and you certainly don't want to ever let a, any type of poultry get over 160 degrees in the cooking process or it'll be too done. We'll flip these one last time, bring the ones from the oil out of there, and we're about done. See how fast that cook time was? And it is a crowd pleaser, I guarantee you. Look at those. Woo -hoo. The fried birds looking for that golden brown to this point like this. I'm putting a little smoke sear on these cooked fried birds right here. And they're ready to come off, give me room for my next round. Oh yeah. 
I'm gonna swing this out of the way. That way my grease is cooling down. And now we've got about, oh, maybe two or three more minutes on these, the fried birds, and they're ready to go. This is a perfect example of how you can take nothing but charcoal, mesquite wood, and make something that just absolutely, positively the best thing you've ever put in your mouth. And that's the art of smoke. That's it, we're ready to go eat.